Hello everyone, welcome back to the Honeybee Shop's channel. If you're new here, hello, I am Shan. I'm the owner, creator, and designer of the Honeybee Shop. And today we are doing the battle of the pins on Tomoe River paper. We have 10 different pins that we're going to be trying out today. They're all different in their own way. This is our B6 Tomoe River Paper Planner. I love this planner so much. We've had it for probably about a year and a half now in the shop and we're running super low. So if you're interested in this planner, I highly recommend checking it out. It includes monthlies, weeklies, and dailies. Let me just give you a little a little sneak peek of that and then we'll get into the pen test. This is the weekly layout. It is a vertical layout with a five millimeter grid and then it goes into the dailies. So Monday through Sunday and an additional note page at the end of the week. So I love this planner. If you love the Hobonichi Cousin, I highly recommend you trying out this planner if you feel like the Cousin is a little bit too big for you. Come on over to the honeybee shop and I promise, I promise you'll probably end up falling in love with this planner. Now, I already know what my favorite pin is out of here and if you've been following me for a while over on Instagram, you probably already know too. But we're gonna put them all to the test. I also love to highlight after I write. Um, I know that you can put down a highlighter and then write over it, but I personally like to write everything out and then go back and highlight things. So we're going to do some highlighting tests as well. So this is the Battle of the Pins, Tomoe River Paper. Let's get into it. All right, the first pin on the chopping block is this Uniball one pin. I think these are really trendy right now and you may have one already in your pin stash. So I tried to pick out all the pins that you probably already have so that you can kind of test them out. Um, or maybe if you don't have some of these pins, you might just be finding one of your new favorite pins. So let's try this out. I love using this pin on regular paper. I don't think I've ever used it on Tomoe River paper. What nib is this? 05? I am a 05 girl. We're gonna give that a few seconds to dry. That's kind of what the test is that I'm doing. I'm gonna give it about five seconds and then run it over. Yeah, that dried pretty quickly. I actually didn't expect that. So then we're gonna do a highlight test. Let that dry just for a few seconds. Um, and I am just using our Ohuhu <laughs> color markers. I left a review on my Insta stories about these. I'm not the biggest fan, um, if I'm being honest. But I am trying to use them. And as you can see, it's already starting to like fray a little bit on the marker. Okay, I got that way long. So that does not pass the highlight test for me, if I'm being honest. Um, the way it picked up the ink doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> so yeah, it's a fast drying pen. Does it pass my highlight test? No, not really. So let's do a pen that does, and I know will pass my highlight test, and that is the Sarsa Mark On. That is the point of this pen, is to be able to highlight over it after you Right, um, is it Sarasa? I think it's Sarasa. I said Sarsa. The only thing about this one, it is my favorite gel pen to use in the Tomoe River Paper planners, but it's just not dark enough for me. So this is going to dry almost immediately. I do love that, especially if I'm journaling or writing really, really fast. And being able to highlight on it with ease is just chef's kiss. So that one is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Definitely high up on the chopping block for me. This is probably another pin that you might have laying around a Sarasa Dry. I do love how juicy this pen is and the fact that it dries quick. I'm gonna give that a few seconds. That is kind of the gist of this pen is it is supposed to be quick drying. And yeah, let's check out the highlight. 
I need to grab this pin more often. I do love that pin. So I do, it looks like I have ink on my brush here, but I have been like rubbing it off over here. Um, it's just kind of stained. So if you think I'm like cheating over here, I'm not. But I knew that was going to happen. That's why I don't grab that pin that much, I guess. Um, that's not passing my highlight test because I'm going to show you a little bit up close. It picks up the ink and kind of turns it a different color. It's not terrible. Um, and I let that dry, but you can see how the letters... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that on camera well. The letters are kind of blending into the highlighter. Um, don't really know how to explain that, but... Yeah, that does not pass the highlight test for me. Now, I have an Angel Shop pin. This is the Sugary Gal 2023. It's so beautiful with the moon and the stars and the body. Um, this is just a ballpoint pen. So I know that I don't love ballpoint pens. You might love ballpoint pens. Um, I just feel like they skip so much. This one's not terrible. So I know that's going to dry pretty much immediately. Um, let's see about the highlight. I am thinking that it is going to pass the test because it is a ballpoint pen. I'm going to give it a few seconds to dry so it has the same. There you can see how it's kind of fraying. Come on. This pen. Anyways, not what we're here about. And yes, that passed the highlight test for me. Let's grab a fan favorite for Tomoe River Paper. This is the Pentel Cleana, Inner Gel Cleana. I personally don't love this pen. I have the little cute little Pokemon Pikachu body, but um, it's just not my favorite. I don't think I like Needle Nose. Is that what they're called? Needle Tip? What is this pin called, Kleena? <laughs> I'm over here brain farting. It just skips so much for me. Does anyone else have have that issue, or is this just just my pin? Yeah, that's not. I'm not a fan. I don't like the needle tip pins. Um, they just don't feel juicy to me. I like a juicy pin. I'd let that pass. I think that passes. It probably looks like it pa everything's going to pass on camera, but we shall see. Another pin is the Sarsa R. I love using this pin on regular paper. I haven't really used it much in my um, Tomoe River paper planners. I think I said Sarsa again. Anyways, did I spell that wrong? I did. <laughs> Sarasa. I do like this because it's a 05. Gonna give that a few seconds. We all make mistakes, okay? Yeah, and I feel like the Sarasa pins dry pretty much immediately on the Tomoe River paper, and I love that. So, give it a few seconds and we'll highlight it. I mean, how many times am I gonna say highlight, pen, Tomoe River paper? I mean, take a shot for every time. <laughs> I say those. Yeah, that's a no for me. <laughs> that's kind of like the dry. Um, you can kind of see it a little bit where it's bleeding on the paper. Um, let's grab a pin that I know you probably have in your stash. The Villa Beautiful Gel Pins. This one is stunning. Um, I, haven't, I don't really grab my pretty pins that much. They're kind of just a display item. Am I the only one? I don't know if I spelled that right, but that dried pretty immediately. I was not expecting that. Let's check out this highlight test. Oh, I do see it. It smudged just a little bit from my hand, but not terrible. If I probably let that sit for a little bit longer, that would be awesome. Okay. Oh, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. It picked up the ink a little bit, but no complaints. Now, I hope you have 
<laughs> one of these pins in your stash. Um, I know that Simply Gilded also does these pins. Um, I think Gold Mine and Coco. This is a very popular custom pin amongst other stationery companies. But this is our pin. This is from our Summer Sophisticate. Let me see if I can get it to focus on our little bee there. Um, this, you know, I think this is going to be a fail. If I'm being quite honest, um... I don't think I've ever used it on Tomoe River paper. That wrote so nice though. Not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> let's see. She's smearing. Just a little bit though. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's smeared just a little bit. Not terrible. I really thought this was gonna fail because I feel like these are really juicy. Oh, it is smearing just a little bit more under my hand. But these pins are freaking awesome on, like, regular notebook paper or, like, the premium planner regular paper. I do love it. Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> that's probably been the worst highlight test, if I'm being quite honest. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that. It kind of erased the ink a little bit. I do not like that. Now I save the best for last because <laughs> that's just who I am. I have my favorite pin. This is the winner here in my opinion. Now this is kind of subjective and it's just really up to you on what type of pin you like. But I love the mono drawing pin from Tombow. This is the 03. Um, it is more of a uh, felt. No, it's not felt. It, I, I, I don't know how to explain this really. Um, actually, I have three pins. Oh my gosh. Three after this. Two after this. I have two more pins after <laughs> this. So um, it's just an ink marker. That's what it says here. So this is my favorite. Um, I just, I love the way my handwriting works with this pen. It's going to dry pretty much immediately. Um, I think I do just like marker pens more than I do gel pens in my um, Tomoe River Paper Planners. It will pass the highlight test. Just a little perk though, or a little hack, not a perk, um, <laughs> is just let it dry for a second. So like give it just a second. I'm gonna do the same as I have with the other ones and see, that's a good highlight test to me, where it didn't really pick up the ink. I think I still had some ink on my pen. I just, I love, I love that pen so much. So, next we have two more pens left. So we have the Tombow Furunosaki. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the best brush pen on the market, in my opinion. Um, I had to include it because you might want to do some lettering in your planner. I'm gonna write this one in cursive. I'm like looking at the side of it, how to spell it. I should know how to spell this because I, I'm always recommending it. Um, God, that is just, it's just such, this is a brand spanking new one too. Um, I just got this in the mail today. <laughs> I did a little order from Amazon. This brush pen is more wet, so it's going to need more time to dry. I'm pretty sure the highlight test is going to work. Let's see, I can't remember. I don't think I've highlighted any brush lettering lately. I'm gonna give it its fair chance. Yeah, heck yeah. So, these two pins right here, <laughs> since you made it this far, are my favorite. Um, but this is the battle of the pins, and I just wanted to share with you what kind of pins perform in what way. But if you're wanting to pick up, like, the duo, these right here. But I do have one last pin, and I'm really excited about it because I actually got sent this pin to review. Um, I posted a reel on Instagram of my review, but I'm going to share with you here as well. I got an Ellington Pins fountain pen in the mail. Let me just show you how freaking stunning this pen is. Oh my god. 
Um, I don't really pick up on reviews when people ask me to because I just don't, I don't know, I don't. Um, but fountain pens are definitely my jam. I don't use them as much as I used to, but I like collecting them. Um, this pen is flawless. It is heavy weighted um, in like a good way. And then let me show you a little close up. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Let's see, the top is like stunning. It's like this pointed top and this all black hardware, shut the fuck up. I love, I love it so much. So I actually put Aurora black ink inside of here with the converter. This is what that looks like. Come on, there we go. This is what that looks like. I love this ink so much. Um, it's just really black to me and that's what I like is my ink being very dark. I think that's why, if you could see why I love the Tombow Mono line, because compared, it's like one of the darkest ones on there, comparing these two as well. The Uniball One and the Sarsa Dry are definitely dark on paper as well, more of that pure black. So let's give this a try. It is smooth too. And I, it fits so comfortably in my hand. Um, I'm gonna give that just a little bit longer to dry. I have, I can't remember if the Aurora Black ink is like highlightable, like archival. Um, so we're gonna find that out together. <laughs> But I feel like I need to let this dry a lot longer. Um, let's swipe it. Yeah, so in the fountain pen part, it's smeared just a wee bit. Um, not terrible. So I think that's kind of known, though, if you're going to use a fountain pen. Oh, I spelled highlight wrong. I, it's so hard for me to talk and write at the same time. <laughs> but if you're going to use a fountain pen, I think that's kind of known... Um, that you need to wait just a, li a little bit longer for it to dry um, because it is an ink, like it's wet ink, you know? But oh my gosh, this is just, I love this. I might end, oops, I might end up using it um, more often. I really like the way that I can just hold it. I'm probably gonna use it for journaling um, because I wanted to start a journal, so that is dry. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, not really. That doesn't really highlight well. Um, so what I would do is, let me show you. Um, and what you can do with all of these, this is not like some secret tip or whatever, but you know, put down your highlight and then make sure that's dry. And then of course just But see, that's what I don't like sometimes. I, I should have waited a little bit longer to let that uh, highlight dry because it kind of bled the H. I mean, you can always do that though, so. And that is the battle of the pins. Let's sit here and rank them real quick. Sorry if that was loud. <laughs> um, so again, we already know the Tombow Monoline and the Furunusuki is one of my favorites. I loved the fountain pen. Um, not a big a fan of the Energel Kleena, but that's what a lot of freaking people use, so you might end up loving that. Um, I think the Sarsa R and the Sarsa Markon are really awesome gel pens to start using on Tomoe River paper. So. It's all, of course, up to preference, so go grab your pen stash, do some pen tests, and figure out which pen you like personally. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little Battle of the Pens video. If you want more content like this or any ideas, just let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and follow me if you want to see more. I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye, y'all!